Hello, this is Jane Goodall. Well, World Chimpanzee Day has come around again, and it brings with it for me vivid memories of that day, the 14th of July, 1960, when I first stepped onto the sandy beach of Gombe National Park to start my study of wild chimpanzees. Those first months were so frustrating because the chimps vanished into the forest whenever they saw me, and so early observations were from a distance through my binoculars. But as you all know, after four months, the chimps began to accept me and allowed me to observe and record their behavior. I got to know them better and better. They became almost like family members. The National Geographic Society sent Hugo van Lauwek to film the chimps, and we built up a small research station. And now, the Gombe research is one of the two longest studies of primates in the world. Over the years, the Gombe studies revealed how much chimpanzee behavior is similar to our own. They kiss an embracing greeting. They have a long childhood during which the young one learns through experience and imitation. They use and make tools, use rocks and stout sticks as weapons. Sadly, they have a dark and brutal side and they may kill each other and even wage primitive warfare, the males fighting over territory. But the chimps also show compassion and true altruism, just like us. And this, along with the discovery that we share more than 98% of the composition of DNA, and that there are marked similarities in composition of blood and immune system, make them, along with the bonobo, our closest living relatives. Unfortunately, the situation for chimpanzees across their range in Africa is worse today than it was when I began mainly because of human population growth, habitat loss, hunting, and the illegal trafficking of infant chimpanzees as pets or for entertainment, mostly to the Middle East and Asia. And this typically means that their mothers were killed. When it was realized that chimpanzee numbers were decreasing across Africa, they were classified as endangered, or some of them critically endangered, on the IUCN Red List of Threatened and Endangered Species. Unfortunately, this doesn't give them sufficient protection because of poor enforcement of the law in most African countries and the demand for infant chimps for pets or entertainment in the Middle East and Asia. But on this World Chimpanzee Day, there is much to celebrate. First, I can truly say that if it wasn't for the Jane Goodall Institute and other NGOs and research groups working on studying and conserving chimpanzees across Africa and raising awareness about their plight, the situation for these apes would be much, much worse. As more chimpanzee populations are studied, we're not only learning ever more about cultural differences, but it means that they're being protected in more areas. People from local communities are increasingly becoming involved in the research and becoming our partners in conservation. Today, there are at least 10 sanctuaries for orphan chimpanzees. JGI runs two, the largest chimpunga, in the Republic of Congo, with almost 200 chimps, and the much smaller Chimbeden in South Africa. And we started two of the other sanctuaries, in Gamba Island and Sweetwaters. These sanctuaries, along with research sites, provide jobs for local people, and ecotourism brings foreign exchange into the countries. And this means that the different countries benefit from protecting their chimpanzees, and the local people benefit too. And let's not forget chimpanzees in other captive situations. In the 1960s, chimps from the wild were used in medical research, imprisoned often in five foot by five foot cages, 
mostly by themselves. There were more than five such facilities in America and at least three in other countries. And now there are no chimpanzees in medical research. And there are a number of sanctuaries for ex-lab chimps as well as ex-pets in the US, Canada, UK, Australia and Japan. These sanctuaries are run by people who understand and love the chimpanzees they care for, many of whom were traumatised by what they went through when they were young. All the sanctuaries are providing educational materials, helping ever more people, especially children, to understand how amazing these chimpanzees are, how worth protecting and caring for. We must also celebrate the vast improvements in the lives of chimpanzees in so many zoos around the world. In 1960, the conditions almost everywhere were absolutely appalling. Then in 1984, I began a program called Chimpanzoo, which not only trains students in observation techniques, but also works on designing ways to enrich their captive environments. Chimpanzees are highly intelligent, easily get bored, and today all the best zoos provide enrichment for their chimpanzees and other animals too. On this World Chimpanzee Day, let me thank and pay tribute to all those who are today working to study and protect chimpanzees in the wild and to care for and improve the lives of those in captivity. They are true heroes. Sadly, there are far too many to mention. Finally, because of the memories stirred up by my early days at Gombe, I want to pay tribute to some of the chimpanzees who first allowed me into their lives and taught me so much. Starting with David Greybeard and Goliath. Then old Flo, with her family that included Figgen, one of the smartest chimps I've ever known. And then there was Melissa, mother of Gombe's first twins, and her daughter Gremlin, who also gave birth to twins and is still with us today. I remember her so well when she was a mischievous youngster, and now she's a wise old matriarch, over 45 years old, and undisputed dominant female of the Casacala community. I hope on this Chimpanzee Day that some of you will spend time thinking about any special experiences you may have had with a chimpanzee. Write it down and maybe we can create a wonderful book for International or World Chimpanzee Day next year when we shall be celebrating the 65th anniversary of my arrival at Gombe. Have a great day and I hope that many of the captive chimps will be given special treats, the things they love best. Thank you.